Welcome back to the Can-Am Garage, guys. In this episode, we're going to have a look, si look inside the box of Reville's 1974 Torino Cobra. Okay, so what do we get inside? Well, instructions, yeah. Because I've already been through here, but hmm, it's all right. Instructions. Decals. Of course, for special decals, which is nice. That gives you... The options of building a Cobra or an A Twister Special. Very cool. Lost decals, very comprehensive, which is what we've come to expect from Ravel. Unfortunately, the only thing I see I don't like really is the fact that there's only the, what, the Oklahoma plates and the Twister plates. Mm, oh well, I guess you can't win them all. Oh yes, the standard. No names. Again, can't win them all. I'll have a look inside, inside the bag, looking inside the baggies, and we'll move that to the side. We'll have to get the trusty old knife and start slitting open plastic. Now, there's the Torino, beautiful. Of course, the instructions tell you that these louvers on both sides have got to come off. This is still the Pro Modeler tooling, I believe, of it. But this is where that started from, where there's little clear lights to go in. Neat idea, but not that not that neat, really. What do we got for mold lines? Some right here on top of the fender, right up there, right. And I'm going. I'm going by feel, guys. There's one right there, and it'll follow that right down and follows that over. Yeah. Seems I'm sort of having to look to see where they are. Yeah, they. And you can see it right there too. Not a huge problem. We're not going to take the clear out because, well, it's clear. We really don't want to scrape it. Scra get a scratch in it. And... Heels, tires, same here with the chrome. I really don't want to take the chrome out of the bag, but everything is right. Still love that grill, and it'll look beautiful with, with, a, little bit of, uh, with a little bit of work. That's your shifter, wheels, yep. Looks good. Okay, moving on to what's really in the box. All the rest of everything else. Let's slip open that plastic bag and hopefully I get it. <laughs> there we go. Gotcha. Clear red, which I wish they didn't put in those, but there's your rear side marker lamps and your tail lamps. Really wish they didn't put that in there. We'll just toss that in the bottom of the box for the moment. Uh, moving, on. moving along, we'll just sort of do, you know, hmm, on the core. Best way to do this just yet, but we'll do it. Front brakes, wheels, wheel holder, steering wheel, tie bar, anti-roll bar, the lower front suspension parts, all nicely molded, complete with finger indentations on that steering wheel. Very nice. I believe those would act, should be for the front brakes. Cool. Sorry about that. Next screw up has the interior, the rad shell, the firewall, the engine, shocks and springs, the mirrors, the horn, oil pump. I believe that's for the uh, rad support. It goes between there. No, it goes. It'll go between this and the front end of the car. Nicely detailed when you look at that firewall. Very complex looking. Pedals got the right have got the molded on lines where they are to, to represent the rubber. Engine is looking good. Yep. Yep. And then definitely manual transmission. Good. <laughs> Not that it really matters for us, but unless you want to get any part swapping. Next time around, next parts around is the lower or chassis, <laughs> fan, uh, the fan belts, various belt, oh no, that's not the various belt drives, the seats, that would be your starter, that would be power steering pump, I'm guessing, that I know your distributor, this, not quite certain offhand, oh, probably for the electronics for the starting system, and the steering box, flip it over, and awful lot of nice Nicely engraved details on the bottom of that floor pan. Wow. 
definitely worth a little bit of extra time to dry brush or paint it or maybe to take one of the new ideas and take one of the special painting pens and fill it up with a little bit of contrasting color and use it to get the likes of the brake lines. Very, very nice Ravel. Next up, okay, <laughs> interesting. Everything keeps coming out upside down. <laughs> That's all right, too. Okay, so definitely, there's your rear axles and a console, dry shaft, rear springs, master brake cylinder, steering column, rear seat, dash, front panel. Uh, that'd be for your front front suspension. That should be your wiper motor, exhaust manifolds, part of the water pump, and the exhaust system. Flip it over and have some looking at the real details. Nicely engraved upholstery patterns. Not much details there. There. Oh, you could you could use the decals for the dashboard, or you could detail paint it, or detail it otherwise. I may don't know what I'll do right yet. I've done it both before, both ways work. It's just a matter of how stubborn I want to be that day. Very nice, very nice. And last but not least, we'll have a look at, well, uh, the hood, the rear panel, the interior sides, the air cleaner, the hinges, although they don't really hinge, the shaker, the rear window louvers, the intake manifold and the various other remaining pieces that are needed to finish the kit. Hmm. Hood looks nice. I'll bring it all up for closer examinations. Red, red line should be your oil filter. Could be wrong. And those interior panels. Wow. That'll respond well to some painting. Oh, nice. Nice work on the air cleaner, too. Complete everything to give it the Ram Air. Or whatever Ford called it. Anyway, that's a quick look at the Revell 74 Torino Cobra. If, well, what we should do, should have done it beforehand, is we'll take a quick looky-see at the interior. At the instructions, excuse me, the interior. Okay. Okay, hold on, camera moving up. So there's your, there's your colors, name and number by Ravel Paint Codes. All your parts named and numbered, what little instructions are required. The remaining of the parts named and numbered. I'm reminding you that these louvers have gotta go and they're suggesting color co colors for both the standard C, which is blue and M, which is orange or competition orange for the twister special notice they're also saying it's the twister version they were known as twister specials everybody knows that anyway you will have to drill out some holes for the exhaust system and that's cool not hard to do several ways to do it more detailed than usual painting instructions i mean we all know that for example that your the shafts for the various pedals are one color. The pads, should, well, the pads, the pet, the actual faces you step should be another color. In that case, they're saying it's matte black for the pads and semi-gloss black for the arms. Mm, that doesn't sound bad. In my case, I'll probably use some Tamaya rubber black for the actual rubber parts. And they instruct you to do that. Just that and you need trim details to paint photos on the box. Like, yeah. Okay, and they tell you to paint the inner fenders, which is nice, 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 not always seen. Or expected to know that. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's a quick look at everything. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next episode of well, yeah, the Can Am Garage.